Jeremy Corbyn has asked Labour's General Secretary to ensure his replacement has been elected by the end of March. How wonderful to see you all here this morning. Is it time to go? How wonderful to see you all. Goodbye. But the contest is already getting nasty after an ex-Labour MP alleged this about potential candidate Emily Thornbury. She said to one of my colleagues, um, I'm glad my constituents aren't as stupid as yours. Um, I'm sorry, it's not acceptable. Emily Thornbury says none of that's true and is taking legal action. People can slag me off, yeah? As long as it's true, I'll take it on the chin. But they can't make up about me. And if they do, I have to take it to the courts. Other potential leadership candidates are trying to keep their powder dry. So w will you be running for the Labour leadership? This is a moment for reflection. Um, we're talking to lots of colleagues. Um, the competition doesn't ask, uh, open until early next year. As well as Thornbury and Starmer, both London-based shadow cabinet remainers, Corbyn loyalists like Rebecca Long-Bailey and Dawn Butler are also thought to be in the running. A little less left-wing, but still attractive to those looking for a more northern, leave-inclined candidate would be Lisa Nandy or Angela Rayner. And high-profile backbenchers like Jess Phillips or David Lammy may also have an outside chance. Others, too, are considering running. I've thought about it, yeah. What did you conclude? Uh, I haven't concluded yet. <laughs> oh, so you might be in the running. Who knows? Let me go and have a, have a little long think. It's not something you step into lightly. The rules for the contest will be set next month, and if the new leader starts here at the end of March, they won't have to agonise over trying to stop Brexit. That will already have happened. Carl Dinan, ITV News, Westminster.